When you first open Project Administrator, you see the home screen. We're going to take you through each of the features of the home screen. Now you can select what you view, which projects. You can select all projects. You can select a program. And in this case, there's only one program available. Or you can se select an individual project. On the left hand side, we have some maintenance functions. You can change your password. You can contact Project Perfect. Or you can set some screen options. And this is primarily for people with different size monitors. Directly opposite them, you have a button to take you to all the reports in Project Administrator. You have a button that shows the health of the project, and we cover that in another video. And you have a button to set up a new project. At the bottom of the screen, you have an exit button, and if you've logged on as a system administrator, there are two more buttons. One is the administration button, which allows you to set up various parameters within the application. The other is user security, which allows you to set up who can see what parts of the system and what projects. Two other points are worth mentioning. On the left at the bottom, you have the user name that you're signed up on as. In this case, it's sysadmin. On the right bottom corner, you have the version and build. This is version 6.1, build 7. We regularly release new builds to improve functionality and to fix bugs that we may have been notified about. On the left hand side, you have the main menu. We start with Project Overview, and that allows you to access screens to set up projects and programs and phases, to set quality assurance for the project, to establish your budget, to set up benchmarks which are related to the project health. You can also set up the benefits for the project, the roles for the project, and various distribution lists. The next area is daily management. This is what you use the most. Here you record your issues, your action items, your risks and assumptions. You can record diary notes, bits of information that may be useful later on or need to be remembered. You also can manage project documents, timesheets and produce a progress report, be it a weekly report or a monthly report. You manage variations through change control and you also have a scheduling tool within Project Administrator or you can use Microsoft Project to do your scheduling. You record expenditure and you can also see from your schedule all the tasks and all the milestones. And finally in this area you can manage meetings. The next area is phase planning. If you want to plan your project at phase level, use this section to set up roles for the phase and see the tasks and milestones associated with that phase. The library section allows you to store documents that are useful across all projects. For example, reference documents. They may be templates, they may be examples of documents from previous projects, they may be standards, all of those can be stored in reference documents. You can also set up checklists. Checklists can handle all sorts of activities within a project, from setting up a workshop to what do we need to do before we hand over to the final customer. There's also functions for a glossary. And there are two more which are very much IT oriented, inspections and function points. Most people will not use these, and there is a facility in administration to suppress viewing of these two functions. Finally, at the bottom, you have reports. So that explains the navigation for Project Administrator. Everything happens from the home screen, and you use the menu on the left to 
looked at various functions.